to any age and work up to any age. Uh, what, what I like about it is that it works the upper body as well as the lower body. Mm -hmm. You see, jogging and running works the lower body. It's a great yes. exercise, but uh, power walking, I feel is even better because it works the upper body at the same time and it uses the principle of progressive resistance. In other words, you start out with no weight and work up to 20% uh -huh. of your body weight. All right, assuming any age can do it, right. I'd like to take a look at just a couple of the warm-ups you do prior to it, and then we're going to go right. out on the road with you sure. and see you power walk. Okay, where do you want me to stand? Wherever you, wherever you can, right. just show us what, uh, uh, what actually you do to warm up. Basically, I start out by putting my hands on my hips here and uh, doing some forward bends, about 20 in a row, uh -huh. just to lower, uh, warm up the lower back and back of the legs. After you've done about 20 of those, you go to uh, side bends like uh -huh. this to warm up the sides. All right. About 20 of those. Then you do twists like this yeah. to warm up the whole body. And it kind of adjusts your spine too. You do that. Then after that, you just do a couple warm ups. Just uh, stretch down and uh, touch the floor or your toes or something like that. Yeah. Stretch your hamstrings back there. Uh -huh. Do that for a while. You do any bends, any knee bends or anything, or is that... No, I don't do that. Then I also do for the... Uh, I stretch the calves like this. Yeah, that's And the hamstrings mm -hmm. like that. And I also stretch uh, the groin muscles. Aha. Uh -huh. This motion here. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to be taking very long right. strides, aren't that's you? That's right. And you also loosen up the thighs by pulling the thigh up like this. Mm -hmm. How did you can. Well, you got me that's worn all out base. already. That's all you basically need. To start going. All right, now that we've got the warm up out of the way, uh, Glenn Swanson uh, and you went out on the street and did some power walking, and yes, we, we took our camera along and let's see what happened. Right, you can describe what you're doing sure. here. Well, I'm, I'm walking along there, swinging the arm very big, vigorously, taking a, a long strides as possible, and I'm doing rhythmic breathing. I'm breathing in for three strides, out for three strides, in for three strides, out for three strides. It's very important when you power walk to keep your heels on the ground as long as possible, not to push off of the toes, uh -huh. because uh, your glutes or your buns are your power, like in the Volkswagen. And you push off of those, it gives you the power to exert, to... Uh, I gotta ask you, what do buns oh, yeah. have to do with Volkswagens? <laughs> the motor's in the back. Oh, I can't. Motor's okay. in the back. Gotcha. That's right, that's right. That's right. Gotcha. Exactly. And a person must be very careful when they power walk to stand up straight, uh -huh. straight as possible. A person has a tendency to lean forward, as I'll demonstrate here in about two seconds. I start leaning forward here. I'm going downhill here. Mm -hmm. Start leaning forward. And that is really bad. And the uh -huh. rhythmical breathing, you have to breathe in three times, out three times. It's important to get the right amount of air, oxygen at the right time. All right. Now, what do you have around your ankles and around your waist? Oh, yes. Uh, around my ankles, I have uh, lead-filled weights. Uh -huh. And see, I'm leaning forward there. To well, now you're going uphill. That's a bad right? way. Yes, that's a bad way. Oh. Now we're doing uh, slow motion to see how you push off with that heel. You see, oh, you take see. long yes. strides, push off of the right. heel, and swing the arms vigorously to offset the uh, power that's by great. the legs. Right. And what are the things? Uh, the weights on your ankles, and then the thing around your waist. Yeah, the weights on the ankles are two and a half pound ankle weights. On the around my waist is a ten pound. I usually carry twenty pounds around the waist. Oh, and uh, five on each ankle, and, and my uh, see, I, I manufacture my own weights. They're, they're handy weights, yeah. and you can uh, they go from one pound up to five pounds, and they're very compact and adjustable. Uh, Steve, how long do you do this, or how long should one continue right. this activity? I do it for about 20 minutes a day. You do it for 20 minutes a day for cardiovascular, but if you want to lose weight, 45 minutes is better. All right, now, should you find a flat surface or an incline to do it on? Well, to start with. Flat. should be a flat surface, Gary. Right. Then you gradually work up on the incline. Then when you can work on the incline well, then you start adding just a, a pound in each hand only. Okay. Then you work up the waist belt, and the last is the ankle belt. Yes. Now, overall time for someone really to get into shape, the kind of shape they'd like to be in. Oh, I would say three months. Three months. That's right. just out there walking. That's right. That's great. You see, I, I like it because uh, you can't get energy from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, over extended period of time. People are concerned about that with yes, running versus right. walking, I think. Yeah, that's right. I mean, walking is uh, good for anybody, but you see, over extended period of time, if you do a lot of jogging, you may get some trouble in the knees or ankles or back mm -hmm. or something. This way you're safe. Right. Thank you, Steve, very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Hercules started the muscle man to actor trend with a film called Hercules. <laughs> I'm going to stay
studio, they said, yes, we would sign you for a contract, like we did Tony Curtis or Rock Hudson. But the trouble is, you have all those muscles, and uh, what can we do? There's only one picture, we'll say, every five years, where we'll need you in. So uh, we can't do it. We wouldn't be economically sound for us. But then Hercules came along, and uh, that was it. Hercules was a box office smash, and Reeves went on to star in 13 more films. But in the process, he got typecast as the good-looking muscle man who couldn't act. Do you think that actors today suffer from the same kind of prejudices as actors who are very physical? Oh, no, not at all. Now, this, this is a day of fitness. I mean, actually, they have an advantage. I mean, a lot of actors who wouldn't have thought of uh, exercising before exercise now so they can take their shirt off and... and